Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel season 1 of I'm in love with the Villainous is still available on Crunchyroll, with the most recent episode 7 released on November the 13th, 2023. Fans are expecting their favorite Yuria 9 to continue for a few more episodes before coming to an end, at which point they will undoubtedly demand a second season. It has already been recognized as the probably best Yuria 9 of the year, and fans are eager to learn more about it. Rea Hashi is a regular office worker who had her life tragically cut brief time she was still at her prime. She is reincarnated as the main character, Ray Taylor, in the world of her favorite Otom game, by some miracle. Despite being a commoner, Rei now possesses great magical talents, and is enrolled in a prominent magic institution that caters to the members of noble houses. As a fan of the novel and manga, I'm overjoyed that Inori's story has obtained the visuals it deserves. Yuri fans don't frequently get to see their masterpieces animated, but this particular one needed to be. While their overall designs appear to be a step down from the novel and manga, I'm confident that this will not detract from the amazing story that awaits us. Season 1 of I'm in love with the Villainous is still available on Crunchyroll, with the most recent episode 7 released on November the 13th, 2023. The threat of a class war occupies only a small section of episode 6, arriving in the final quarter to get things going. Everything before then is fully concentrated on I'm in love with the Villainous's distinctive style of hilarious shenanigans, and it delivers. Lean's performance as maid drill teacher is fantastic, and it's interesting to see which members of the ensemble accept their cross-dressing job. The ladies look routinely, haha, wonderful as one would expect from a spectacle like this. But the prince is given entertaining range. I'm in love with the villainous is one of the very best jury series out there. And I'll never stop talking about it. Watching Claire and Ray Taylor at this state of affairs makes me very happy. So far, a nice adaptation. Surprisingly, it's greater than the manga. It truly makes me nauseous that the disgusting insult homophobes have slid out of their burrows to attack this amazing series. Hope you guys, comma, like this video will keep you updated, comma, if we get more details about the season 2 until then stay tuned. Do like, share, comment, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.